Lauren Nancaro. For 30 years, he was an award-winning news anchor in San Diego. He was also an avid organic farmer, the author of three gardening books, spectacular husband, and father to three grown, incredible kids. But after a brave 10 months, Lauren lost his battle to brain cancer. Shortly after he was diagnosed, Lauren said he wanted to give back and help as many other cancer patients as possible. Well, after our experience with uh, Scripps Hospital, we came away with such a sense of, of uh, family almost in this most critical, sad, scary time. And they made our family feel like family while we were there. And um, so we, his wishes are and our wishes are to give back to Scripps and to make a difference. And he wanted his disease, no matter way, which way it goes, to make a difference. We were able to bring our dogs and to be a family and to have fun in the hospital in the worst possible time. And so why wouldn't we want to thank Scripps for everything that they've done for us? Well, he's always been one to start some kind of cause. So it makes sense to me that he's doing something like this. To help others, to help others with cancer, to thank the doctors and the nurses and the house cleaners and the volunteers and everybody that helped our family. We want to give back and he wants to give back. So we thought, what more fitting tribute to Lauren's passion about the earth and his desire to want to help other cancer patients than to make his presence felt here at the Scripps Radiation Therapy Center's new rooftop healing garden right off of Torrey Pines Road. A place where patients undergoing state-of-the-art cancer treatment and their families can come and relax, take in the view, find some moments of peace and tranquility. There were several times while we were in the hospital that my dad said, I wish there was somewhere we could go outside. And a parking lot was all we could do, and something like this is life-changing for patients. My dad's favorite place, or one of his favorite places to be, has always been to be spent in the garden. So I think it's a special gift to pass that on to <laughs> other people or patients who are battling just to be and to be outdoors and to smell the air and the grass and hear water and nature and it's everything my dad embodies. So please donate whatever you can so that we can name a tree or a bench or perhaps if we raise enough money we can name this entire place the Lauren Nancaro Healing Garden. Having a Lauren Nancaro Healing Garden would be, um, I know that it would just it will just thrill him beyond words because he spent the last 25 years of our lives together organic gardening. I think he'd be honored. I definitely think he'd be honored. It'll give patients an opportunity to go and meditate or go commune with nature, which is what he's always done. If my dad walked out here today, I think he might be a lot like I am and be speechless. This is the biggest gift to not just my family, but I know it would be a huge gift to my dad. Um, this is exactly what he'd want to pass on to others. What a wonderful tribute to Lauren, to this brave cancer warrior, to this exquisite man who has given so much to this community. Thank you in advance for your generosity. Thank, Thank you. you. We love, love you, Dad. Love you, honey. <laughs>